What are they doing here? They're Indians. Ah, this is one of my many unsuccessful experiments. You see, with Indians, there's absolutely nothing to be done. There's the same difference between a Negro and an Indian as there is between a dog and a coyote. You can put a dog on a leash, beat him, and he'll always be there to lick your feet. Take away a coyote's liberty and you've cut off his air. An Indian will never be a slave. No one has ever been able to make them reproduce in captivity. They do not eat, they do not talk, they do not sleep, they do not make love. On the other hand, these people... ...enslaved in North America, and they overlook its southern counterpart, meaning South America. Now, what, what a lot of fake Israelites try to do, and I say fake Israelites, because just because you know you Israel don't mean you got the truth. You understand? Right, right. So now, what they try to do is they try to turn around and say, well, it was the Negroes that was brought to South America. Those are the Israelites. Those that were in the maroon colonies. They don't understand that that slavery started with us first. So now, was there slave imports from Africa overwhelmingly taken to America and the Caribbean? Absolutely. Were they put in areas such as Brazil, Colombia, and Bolivia? Absolutely. Next slide. You got it? So now, yet, not unlike North America, slavery existed in South America even before African slave importation. Meaning what? Slavery started in America with the North American Indians. It started in 1492 when Columbus sailed the ocean blue. You understand? After Christopher Columbus's discovery of the Americas in 1492, much of South America was divided between the Spanish and the Portuguese. When the Europeans arrived in South America, they enslaved the native inhabitants and used them as free. What happened here? I hear you. What happened to my speaker, though? Y'all hear me? No, sir. I think it might be this microphone. We got another microphone. The battery's dead in this. Let me see here. Boom. Take that. All right, here we go. So now, what you're going to see is that we were forced to go into mines and pick cotton and sugarcane and tobacco. You understand? They did the same thing to us. Next slide. So now, we don't have certain depictions because there was no photographs. All we have is murals. But they have murals dating back from the 1500s, 1600s, all the way up into the 1900s, portraying what our slavery looked like. Where we were lynched and we were hung, we were whipped, we were forced to convert to Christianity and forced to mine their gold for them. Next slide. The transatlantic slave trade. Native American slavery is a piece of history of slavery that has been glossed over. Let me tell you something, man. The United States right now is putting out textbooks that call the transatlantic slave trade the transatlantic migration. There's so much history that they're ashamed of or that they don't want people to know of because they want to seem as though this, that is righteous nation that they don't tell you, you understand, but this professor did. This is from Linford D. Fisher, associated professor at Brown University. Between 1492 and 1880, between 2 and 5.5 million Native Americans were enslaved in the Americas in addition to 12.5 million African slaves. Now, of course, when it says Africans, we're talking about Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Now, when it talks about the Indians, it's talking about all the Indians in the Caribbean, Simeon, Manessa, Ephraim, so on and so forth, all the way on down to Issachar, our brothers and sisters, you understand? So now, while natives had been forced into slavery and servitude as early as 1636, it was not until King Philip's war that natives were enslaved at large numbers. And then what did they start doing? During the English war, New England colonies routinely shipped Native American slaves to Barbados. Bermuda, Jamaica, Spain, Tangiers, North Africa. You understand? Africans were slave masters too, man. Stop trying to love them Hamites. You got a problem with that? Turn this lecture off right now. Walk out. Do whatever you want. You understand? Next slide. And now, the reason why that's so important too is because, listen, they destroyed all of our people. They hid this history. Listen, we just going to get into it. English authorities focused first on disarming natives, either by selling guns turned in by surrenderers or prohibiting them from bearing arms. That's the same thing that they did to Judah. You understand? They try to forbid us from bearing arms. You have a look at the major cities, right? 
that have the strictest gun laws is where the most black and Hispanics is at. Because they don't want to arm us, man. You understand? Well, that's the same thing that they did with Gad. So now it says, in addition, Native communities. Now, once again, I might be skipping over some information, but like I said, there's a lot of information. I'm trying to move through this right now. So I'm going to leave this up. If y'all at home, y'all want to pause the screen, y'all do all that. Y'all here reading it? Go ahead and get down. 